Hello and welcome to Still Alive Studios video diary about Son of Nor 102. This is an indie corner episode where we feature fellow indie developers with great games. This time we'll talk about Try of Friendship and Madness. But first we go through a quick update of Son of Nor's development. Lately we have been working a lot in polishing the game. One of those things is bringing life to it. Make it look as it is a living world. That's why we have added several things to make it look like so, for example effects like haze and dust clouds and moving trees. A new one that we have implemented are critters. You will randomly see critters like this really cute mouse kangaroo jumping around. In other times you will see snakes and if you look up you might get to see some birds. This of course doesn't have any gameplay value but it creates the illusion of a living world which in turns help the players get a bit more immersed into the world. To show one more thing, we are now working with blend shape to fix the overlapping of the clothing of characters and their bodies. As you can see here, sometimes the animations would make the clothes go through the body of the character, which is not very cool. But Adrian and Toby have been hands-on about the matter and are now fixing it. The blend shape is actually one particular pose of the cloth. That would be when it's fully out. But what we are doing is that we are using blend shapes together with with an exist existing animation. So the, the animation of the leg, of the left and right leg, um, controls the blend shape of the cloth. Calling for reviews. If you're currently playing Son of Nor and enjoying it on Steam Early Access, we would deeply appreciate that you write a review on the Son of Nor Steam Community Hub. This would help us a lot since the number of reviews displayed on the store page and the overall score influences the decision of a player that might be on the fence about acquiring our game. This week in our indie corner is Try of Friendship and Madness from Radkin Entertainment. Try is a single player first person adventure game where you enter the world of the odd gods and discover the magical power of the Try. Master abilities that let you create your own path through an immersive universe full of unknown wonders. Chris and me got the game and played some of it. Here are a couple of our reactions. Welcome to the old gold place. This all looks very mysterious. I like games where you have to find out what's going on and if everything has a meaning or not. I like the music. It's really relaxing. Nice UI touch with the circle. So the, you have really a huge opportunity to, to explore everywhere here. I remember reading this article that said that creating the triangles was kind of unintuitive, but I actually don't think so. I think it's actually pretty good. You just need to have really good, I mean, not really good, you just have to understand that it's a spatial thing. It's not like you create yeah. the triangles mm -hmm. in the nothingness. You have to, you know, have a wall or a, or a floor or a ceiling or the same triangles. So there's a lot of uh, exploration things you can still do here. I mm, really like how the, the art is so uh, simplistic but at the same time looks mm, very beautiful and it doesn't feel weird, you know? Like I really like that graphical style. Yes, the music is really nice. It really Yay. has <laughs> it really has a lot of detail, you know. <laughs> Even the sun is triangles. I, I I really like you know like all the detail thought out. So you said that they made their own music. It's not like. Yeah, uh, they are a two-people team. Ratkin um, is uh, two people? Yeah. Really? This mm -hmm. was made by two people? Yeah, two people. Is so one is Friedrich, I think he does the programming and the music. And Diana does all the 3D stuff and animations. I'm really surprised that this is a two-man game. Two-people two game. It's really nice. I. 
I'm really amazed that this was born on on a game jam, right? Mm -hmm. Well, the basic idea, yeah. I would like to see the the game jam game, like how different it was. I have to say I really enjoyed this game. I personally love puzzle games, and this one tickled me on the spot. Plus, the art and the attention to detail is kind of amazing. If you enjoy games similar to Portal and other first-person exploration like Gone Home, I recommend you get try. Although, you don't have to like those mentioned games to get to enjoy this one. The funny thing is that playing this game also got us thinking about our own game. And it's from the right? I don't know why we have the menu on the right. And other things in life too. Have you ever imagined how it would be if you would have to run through all those levels that you play? In a game? Yeah. I, that's... yeah in a game with all the gear that you transport in an RPG or something. And then like, <laughs> well, through through the desert, 100 miles. <laughs> yeah, no problem. I mean... <laughs> my mom... My mom always says when, uh, when, you know, we talk about games, she says, I don't like that game because they never eat or go to the bathroom. <laughs> this game is available for Windows, Mac and Linux that you can currently acquire through their official website or on Steam. That was it for this week, hope you enjoyed this SAS diary and the Indie Corner. Don't forget to join the conversation on Facebook, Twitter, our own official forums, and have a nice weekend and happy gaming.